The fans inside the dome are on their feet, and maybe the biggest reason why is the play of the Asia Fair when it matters most in the second half, but mostly in the fourth quarter, already has six points. Less than three minutes in. Here. Players like the Asia Fair know when to come in the clutch and turn it up another notch. She's done that time and time again over the course of the season, and today certainly no exception. Two-point game, seven minutes left. Senior day inside the dome. We will carry it after the conclusion of this game on ACC Network Extra with the five players on SU. Shot clock winding down. Another second chance opportunity with the left for King. Just cannot allow those second chance opportunities for the Orange. Plenty of space there to box out, but couldn't get it done. King fought for the rebound with the putback and slowly making this one more and more difficult for the Orange. 27 points, her career high was earlier this year, 34. Tania Wilson putting the shoulder down off the mark and tangled up. Rice, the arm almost hyper extended there, that's very scary. With King. And working down low, it was Sanaya Wilson originally and Rice getting tangled up as King went for the board. Just wrong place there for Rice. Certainly grateful that, as you mentioned, Griffin, she didn't hyperextend that arm. Elena Rice with the foul. She now has two. Tonight Wilson checks out of the game and Nathan and Wood back in for the orange. Sophie Burrows, the perimeter defense for Syracuse, much improved, but inside it's been Ping getting to the cup. Off this time, Syracuse. And to regain the lead. They'll have their work cut out for them. Lena Rice puts on a move. Burrows in the corner, her hot spot. Another offensive rebound for Wood, but immediately turned over as Iadel comes away with it. And the Orange tried to force it a little bit too much there inside. As a result, Iadel able to claim that rebound. Second foul in the last minute for Elena Rice, called for the block. It's like maybe her foot got stepped on by Washington, so that's why she hit the deck. Nevertheless, Another inbound play for Pitt. That's exactly what it was. Rice stepping on Washington's foot, and you can see the orange crowd was wanting that foul to be called on Washington's and got a little animated when it went the other way. Georgia Woolley tried to get back into the game, but it was not in time before the inbound, so she's waiting at the score stick. Shot clock winding down. Malcolm gets open. Not having her shooting touch today. Malcolm just two points. Another move by Fair, drops it off, but King had the steal for a second, went off her dome, and remained with Syracuse. And it looked like King was trying to get a foul called, not exactly sure what happened that she hit the floor, and still trying to plead her case to say that she was tripped up. Syracuse matching a smaller lineup of Pitt with Kyra Wood subbing out for Georgia Woolley. Four guards in for Cuse. That pass intercepted Georgia Woolley, the intended target not there. King puts up a shot, can't get the jelly to go, but that one also misses. Ida, third time, no good. Boxed out well by Latham, and a hard hit Rice and Ida. Tempers continue to flare, Griffin. Fast break points for Sophie Burrows. Big performance for the freshman. Burroughs just having plenty of space and making the most of it, getting this one one possession closer. Ball will stay with Pitt. Looks like that might have went off the shoe, or now they're also talking about the clock as well being an issue. This is a fiery, passionate game down the stretch where Syracuse was maybe lackluster in terms of energy, but you can feel it right here. You absolutely can. This crowd getting more and more into it, but both of these teams getting fired up and more fired up as the game progresses. So Syracuse will have the basketball coach, Birdie, 
Got to be weary. He's about to get teed up. Griffin, I think we're in a race right now to see which coach gets teed up first. <laughs> Everybody at home. There we go. I was just going to say put it on your bets, but didn't even have time to. Coach Birdie teed up, giving even more energy for this SU crowd. Coach Verdi just more and more frustrated. That call not going his way, continuing to bark over on that far side, and eventually enough is enough. Still with a two-point lead, but after the technical foul, DeAsia Fair will go to the line. Syracuse was going to have the basketball anyway after the officials got together to change the ruling on that last possession. There's first from the line. Rattles in and out, second time today that's happened to the fifth year guard from Rochester. So Syracuse isn't able to tie or get any points on the technical. Syracuse will still have the basketball. And a missed opportunity that you mostly don't see Deja Fair not take advantage of. And that might just be a saving grace right now for Pitt because this is an opportunity for the Panthers to get another stop, keep some momentum that is slowly slipping away. Williams drive. will go Pitt's way as it was last touched by the Aussie. So an opportunity falls right in their lap, something that was out of their control on a coach technical. They can't get any points out of it. And in a way, if you're Coach Verdi, you almost have to recognize that you got away with one there because you can't find anything to give this orange team, and you almost gave them two points automatically. Moshinitz trying to dance around the screen. Now she's double teamed. King puts her foot down, and it'll be a travel call. He's not a fan of it either. King thought that she drew the Defensive foul of Burroughs didn't get her feet set, but in the end, one step too many, possession to Syracuse. All about who can rise to the occasion in these moments. Pitt hasn't had many of them, but one comes to mind was at home against a ranked MD team that they ended up losing two by five. Very similar situation. We know that Hughes can be the cardiac kids. Another loose ball, fight for it. And King has it. Less than four minutes left in the fourth. Still a two-point game. Coach Woolley almost with another steal. Trying to target King. A lot of attention on him. Extra pass. Ayadel. Great contest by Latham. Georgia Woolley. Thought about having it, didn't have numbers. Nice so ball with Fair, a little help on defense. Another pull-up jumper, rattles in and out. Alyssa Latham, left hand and one! A chance for the lead. It's the right place at the right time, Griffin. The original shot rolled around the rim, out of the hands of Fair and Latham down under, boxing out like Coach Jack preaches time and time again, gets it to kiss off the glass. Alyssa Latham, no points in the first half. She's came to play down the stretch. And also converts on the three-point play. Syracuse up in front. It's been a long scoring drought for Pitt that has now amassed over four minutes. Back in fourth we go. Back inside to King. She's been double teamed all fourth quarter long. Still gets up a shot. I don't know how that wasn't a three second call. Nevertheless, 29 points for her. That was certainly on the bubble of that three second call, but King got it done. Oh my! De'Asia Fair with the answer. Splash. And De'Asia Fair doing De'Asia Fair things 
from way downtown getting that shot and Coach Jack animated on the sidelines. So is Mr. Fair who just came over. He told me before the game, you got to call splash on her threes. It was just celebrating as DeAsia on her day. I will let it fly from D. 17 points for her all season long. They've been cardiac cues. Highlighted by that 19 point comeback when DeAsia had her 3,000th point against the Tigers. They trailed by as many as 11 today. And Griffin, you can just see how much she has really stepped up in this fourth quarter. Just four points combined in the second and the third and has more points now in this quarter than she did each of the previous three combined. So again, Fair just finding ways to come in the clutch when it matters most. She knows when her team needs her the most. And even after those two missed free throws, still has the confidence and the poise to hit a big shot as Syracuse goes up by two. Almost a steal by Woolley. And a long scoring drought that was just upended in their last possession by Pitt. But immediately, Syracuse regained the lead. Less than 10 on the clock, an interception by Elena Rice. And it's going to be a travel on Rice, so Pitt will remain with the basketball. And Griffin, Marley Washington's got away with one there. She had no room to force that ball down low. Did it anyways, went right into the hands of Elena Rice and got bailed out as a result of the travel call. Pitt underneath the basket. Washington's getting it to King. It's been swarmed all day. This is the time for Malcolm to come up. Instead, it's the lefty. Way up. Sophie Burroughs continues her impressive performance off the bench on that rebound. Already nine points for Fair in the final frame. Now with the ISO, her favorite spot gets it to go. Timeout on the floor, a four-point orange lead. 